What's up, dudes? Unlicensed therapy patients. Uh, today we have a, honestly, one of my favorite episodes. We had good chemistry throughout. She's hilarious. She's fun. She's hot. She's funny. It's Jess Peluso, as you already know from the title. I think you're going to enjoy it. Before we get into it, I'm going to read the reviews this week on Apple Podcasts. If you guys leave a review that's positive, I'm going to read it at the beginning of the show. And if you leave a review that's negative, I'm going to ignore you and feel bad for you. Here we go. Two new reviews. First one, Ari and Lacey, five stars. I kind of want to watch this episode video so I can see Ari Smitten, the whole show, LOL. That's from DZAK only on Apple Podcasts. And I'm not going to lie to you. I was. She's hot. I was, uh, yeah. Oh, too bad she's has a relationship that, you know, I'm not a home wrecker. Not to say she would be interested anyway, but she's in a relationship. Nice person. Glad I got an interviewer. Yeah, she's hot. Next one, avid listener, five stars. Recently started listening and working myself up very fast. Great show and very relatable content as always. At this point, one could say I am a fan. Been listening to Unlicensed Therapy since your SoundCloud days. That is a long time. And I'm a girl, so your demographic is bigger than you think, Ari. This is in. I think there might have been more that got cut off. That's from Jess and De Love You. Jess N D L O V U via Apple Podcast. Thank you, Jess. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, when this podcast started, the host was SoundCloud and we got listeners via SoundCloud, apparently. So thank you for listening and continuing to listen from those days because I don't even upload it to SoundCloud anymore. There you go. Those are the new reviews. Today's episode is enjoyable, honestly one of my favorites, so I hope you enjoy the episode with Jess May Peluso. broke up my marriage. You're an awful person. You're 24 years old. Why would I listen to you? Why would you be giving therapy and advice to people who clearly need it? It doesn't make any sense, Ari. This is a horrible idea. You're listening to You're listening to Unlicensed. 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 Unlicensed therapy with Ari Mendes. Ari Mendes. So yeah, cute. We'll You're a hottie. You're smoking hot babe. I'm smoking hot babe. Yeah. Let's see. We'll just let it all hang out because we were trying to get Brad Pitt to be our boyfriend. Are you? Are we recording? What are you? Thirty-two years old. <sighs> Am so. I thirty-two? Is it rude to ask you how old you no, are? No, not at all. I say it all the time. No, I'm thirty-eight. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I look like great. Stunning. Are you are you trying to get in my pants, Ari? No. If I wanted to do that, I would have done that a year ago. A year? Is that yeah. when we met? Two years ago, whenever we met. <laughs> and obviously you would have gone for it. Look at me. <laughs> you look just like Adam Sandler. Oh, fuck you. He's cute. Uh, no, he's, he's, he's all right. Cute. No, I get that every day. I don't, you know. I don't know why I reacted that way. I wanted to react. I wanted to do a reaction, but that's fine. Uh, do you seriously get that every day? Almost every day. Once a day. If I, uh, I'll meet a stranger and they'd be like, you look like Adam Sandler. I get it. As much as someone could get that. Has anyone ever thought you were Adam Sandler? No. I've never had a sip of this liquid death. You sure oh, there's no sense. weed in this? No weed, mm -hmm. no death. That's too bad. Just water. You ever smoke weed and then feel like you died a thousand times? Not a thousand. What kind of weed are you smoking that made you feel like you died? Well, it's like any kind of weed can really do that, you know, depending you on how you I know you smoke it. an absurd amount of weed, right? Rude. Rude. That's rude. That's one of your things. But accurate. It's very yeah. accurate. You're <laughs> would you call yourself a weed comedian or no? No. I don't like to call myself any comedian, just comedian, like mm, girl comedian. Yeah, girl. I was going to uh, say like it's just, most people probably under your your title and your bio. So Jess May Peluso, <laughs> hot girl comedian. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, man. Weed comedian. Not a guy comedian. Not a guy comedian. That's yeah. the only moniker that I want. <laughs> I, I just think anything else is like for is for everybody else's purpose. Mm -hmm. So by all means, if you have to call me a weed comedian, go ahead, but I don't really talk about weed. But you you do weed content. 
Is that what it is? Yeah, I mean. How do I know you smoke so much weed? I barely know you. How would I? And I know you smoke tons of weed. So that says something. You're wearing. You're wearing a shirt. Look at your look at your shirt. Don't be rude. This shirt looks great. I thought All red would I'm look good with you. All I'm saying is, if you were like, I've never smoked weed before, <laughs> I'd be got... like, uh... um, you have Biggie Smalls on yeah. your boobs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love weed. I really do. It's it's navigated me through the hardest times of my life. It's been the thing that has kept it's always me there afloat. For you. It really is always In there. In California, for me. at least. It, it, that's the thing. Like I came from New York, where you drink yourself into an oblivion until four o'clock in the morning. And then I just sort of migrated away from drinking a lot to smoking more. Yeah, I don't I don't like the taste of alcohol. Never have. Really? What's your I vice? Hate being hungover. Hookers? Women and junk food. Is it really? Yeah. Are you a serial sexer? Do you sex serially? <laughs> well, I want okay, I'll Do you have say sex this. with cereal? Every single night, every seven nights a week at two AM, I'm horny. Really? Why 2 a.m.? Are you a vampire? Yeah. You look like a vampire that has studied, like a vampire professor. Yeah. Uh, every every single night when it gets into those hours of night where you're supposed to be asleep and you're not, I become a sexual deviant. Are you are you being uh, real. facetious? No, I'm being real. So what do you attribute that to? And does the world know this? I'm sure they yeah, know. Yeah, the world knows it. Uh, just being a horn dog. I don't know. Is that like, did, did you get touched? At that, hour, no. at that hour one time? And it's just something no, that you're trying to... No, I've never been to... molested, never been raped. Congratulations. Thank you. Actually, when I was 17, my first girlfriend was 18. So technically, uh, you yeah, were I, awesome. I am a victim. Yeah. That, that is not... You were lucky. I've been through you're it. You're welcome. I've been through it, and <laughs> you're not alone out there. <laughs> so you're going to get a insensitive? letter. You're is that insensitive? You're going to get a letter. thing you're to say? You're asking me if that's insensitive? Is that, was that what I just did insensitive? Because if someone says it's insensitive, maybe you should look deep inside yourself and ask yourself why you're getting mad that I was raped when I was 17. Boom, boom, boom. Insensitivities come from a trigger, and a trigger comes from a trauma response. Yes. That is undealt Ooh, with. Are you a doctor? Yes, I am, Dr. Peluso. Thank you. Dr. For, Peluso. Thank you. Yeah, on Mondays I'm a doctor on my IG you story. You and uh, the black space guy, <laughs> Neil deGrasse. <laughs> Okay, you look into my car, which has a very <laughs> spacey celestial decor. Literally, her car is <laughs> has black seat covers with the galaxy on them. It does, and and it's cool. It's cool looking. Yeah, it's the car also is called... an indication of weed comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, it is. My car's name is the Cosmic Dream Machine, like on my app. I think your car's name what was that a Honda Pilot? What car was that? <laughs> no, it wasn't a Honda. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't look close enough. I didn't look close at all. <laughs> it was much more expensive than that, and I regret Ooh, is that it. A Lexus? What <laughs> a, kind? A Range. You have a Range Rover? Yeah, Ooh, ruefully. Nobody damn. ever get one. It sounds nicer, and then you oh, get in one. Oh, hey, mommy. <laughs> is that what you're into, sugar oh, mamas? Oh, I take it back. I am coming on to you now. <laughs> Wait, we need to go back to your nocturnal emissions. I don't know. I don't know what it comes from. I attribute it to just being a you know man in my sexual prime. Why so late though? Like I feel like that's not ideal. I'm kind of a night owl. Okay. So I've always stayed up till two a.m. Probably since I was out of high school. Yeah, what do you do to satiate these desires? Do Pornography, you, mm, typically. What kind of porn? What's your favorite? I like storylines. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't like gonzo I'm not porn. Against it. What's yeah. gonzo porn? Gonzo porn is when they go jump into the sex. So they turn it on and the girl's stripping and they get they just boom, they go to town. You like a storyline? Yeah, I like, you know, stepsister, teacher, okay, okay. mom, okay. you know, like something where it's like kind of bad a little bit and they're doing it anyway. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you like a, like almost like a fetish. Not, there there doesn't need to be a plot per se. No, no, there does need to be a plot. <laughs> yeah. but, I think you should just watch Quentin Tarantino movies. No, that's too feet oriented. <laughs> Did you? There's some TikTok I saw where the lady, a lady was filming him, and she said, "Can you sign my feet?" And then he signed. He's like, "Sure," and he's signing her feet, and she goes, "What do you think?" And he's like, "They're fine." Oh. <laughs> but she was trying to get like a moment, you know, because he's in the feet. Can you imagine 
not getting a moment from a guy who's in defeat. How <laughs> shitty that day was for her to go home and realize she had subpar feet. Well, no, but that wasn't the thing. I felt bad for him because she was like trying to get this famous guy. She was like trying to get a viral moment out of him, but uh, he wasn't giving it to her. So I thought she was kind of the bad guy. In the oh, it's interesting perspective. Yeah. She was trying to hook him. She was trying to hook this. So what? He's in a feet. He's in a harmless. He's, he has a foot fetish and he focuses on feet in his movies. Is it a little bit weird? Fine. It's a little bit weird, but he's not hurting anybody. Weird and she's according trying to, to what? Yeah, and she's trying to embarrass him on the internet. Oh, I didn't realize that was yeah. the vibe. Ew. What if he had came on her feet? She probably would have <laughs> tried to me too him. For sure. And that would have been rude. But they were in public, so it would have been. I don't think he should came on her feet in that situation. What do you think? I don't know if you've talked about this because we're kind of on the subject. What do you think about Cosby's release? He's still convicted. Uh, to be clear, okay, the conviction still stands, but he this, is free to walk. I'm sure everyone thinks I'm gonna defend Cosby. I'm 100 percent sure you will. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. What he did you, when there's that many witnesses and there's that many things, he is a full blown date rapist. Not cool. Very bad. Bad behavior. Is it the worst in the world? Are there worse people than him? Absolutely. He's not a murderer. He's not holding women down. And fucking them against their will. Well, well kind of is. Technically, yeah, he is. Kind of is. He's using it's a he's using a device. He's horrible, and he should be a convict. He should probably be in jail for the rest of his life. That being said, he went to jail for a few years. He's which was probably really hard for him, considering he's an old, super rich and famous and beloved man. So I'm sure he's been through a horrible experience, emotionally and physically. So now it's this old, he's going to die in a year. Who cares? Leave him alone. Let him die. You think he's going to die in a year? This motherfucker, I guarantee Two years, he's going to get revived. <laughs> he's going to get stem cells How shot old is into he? everything. He's, 122. No, I actually want to know now. How old is he? He looks Cosby? like one of those dogs that people have at their house that has cataracts and just walks into walls. He's so old. He's going to tour again. I, I do think that. Uh, he's uh, 83, but he looks worse than 83. And he's black too, which black don't crack. So the fact that he looks worse than 83 is it, shows how old he is. You're right. I thought he was indicative. 90. Yeah. So he's very, very, 83 is already past the average life expectancy in America. That being said, he's rich and healthy, so he could live, he could live another 10, 15 years, he really. He really could. He could, but he's so old. He's not living. People are like, oh, you're just going to let that guy be free? He can, it's not like he can go out and enjoy the outdoors. He's stuck in a house all day anyway. So yeah, he's in a nicer house instead of a jail cell. Is it ideal? No, but at the end of the day... Who cares? Yeah, it's it's fucked either way. Here's the better question. It's fucked either way. Here is the better question. What? Uh, the Bill, better Bill Cosby question. Okay. I think he's going to tour again. Oh, he's probably, 100%. Probably sell out theaters. Yes. The two-part question. Part one, <laughs> would you go see him perform? <laughs> Part two, would you open for him? Oh! Would you feature for Bill Cosby? And let's say it pay, and it'll pay ten grand for one fifteen minute spot, and it'll be a fun ass show. Could I do whatever material I wanted? Yes, I would do all Cosby material about him. <laughs> if if I could do whatever I wanted, and then I would give the money back to the, to the women. Oh, smart! I'd give them half the money. <laughs> I deserve some money for going to do it. You know what? True. I'm going to cover my travel expenses. Yeah, I gotta, I'm not rich. I'm going to cover my travel expenses. If I was expenses. rich, I'd give them all of it. If I had a, a range, I'd give them all of I'm it. Gonna, I'm also going to save one for a one-month payment of my Range Rover. <laughs> travel expenses plus my car payment. <laughs> yeah. So they're probably each going to split about a buck fifty. <laughs> I was genuinely thinking about this. This came up in another circle of comedians. They're like, would you open for him? And everyone said no. And I... Don't know. I'm genuinely if if I got asked to do a Bill Cosby show right now, like I think you would. I think I would. It I think would be you'd such, have to. It'd be such a cool experience. Well, for and that doesn't like mean you. I support him. No, that doesn't mean I support him. But that would be a fun show. It would be a fun show, but also uh, there's some responsibility to be mindful about what happened and to use that. That's what I'm saying. Like I would literally go into his whole history of what happened i wouldn't promote that i was doing it i wouldn't promote that i was doing <laughs> I it i would not make a poster for my it. my rider would be real deep <laughs> think about this too the type of audience that is going and buying tickets to the show are down for anything well maybe not because the type of audience might be split into two one people who like to watch 
a disaster. Gladiator fans. Okay. Two diehard Cosby fans who are just like clean comedy. They they like I think those clean people comedy are out. and they're just obsessed with him. Those people, I, the people who are obsessed with the cleanliness of Cosby are out at this point. You think so? What about the ones yeah. that support him and think he still didn't do it, people? Those, uh, those people exist? Yes! Are you kidding me? There's people that think he's innocent. Y- Seriously? There's people who still think the earth is flat. Yes, yeah, there are true. fucking crazy people but out there. But that's a small minority. Mo- pretty much everyone thinks he's guilty. Watch your, sure. watch your phrasing now. Most people, that, <laughs> there's a few Don't crazy people. Don't say minority. <laughs> 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 now, here's the thing. If Cosby said to me before I go on stage, he goes, you got to be clean now. That's my Cosby impression. <laughs> you got to be clean now. <laughs> I'd say, of course, Mr. Cosby. And then I'd go out and do my raunchiest material. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I think I think we're safe. I do. I mean, I think it's more indicative of the system needing to be shook down than anything. The fact that something was said. And because something was said, he can walk free. It's it's a technicality. It's he like, made a deal, right? That's what happened. There was like a deal made prior to the when judge he was convicted. Verbalized that he wouldn't go uh, to jail. Yes, and, and so because that was verbalized, and he paid all these women a lot, a large sum of money, right? I'm not sure. I don't know if that had happened. I don't know if they got paid out or what. I think they did. I could be hopefully. wrong. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, they got something other than a shitty nap. It'd be nicer if he was poor right now, and I know he's not. He's yeah. still really rich. It'd be nicer if his wife would have taken a hike. If they're letting him out of jail, they should be like, you're out, but we're taking all your money. You could live in a one bedroom Yeah, apartment. you got to start. And you know what else would be better is if he had to start doing open mics. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. If he had to get up at Potluck at the comedy store. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> they would definitely not let him drop in at the comedy store. Oh, I, f- I would open for him. Yeah. Think about this, too. How many people are reaching out to open for him? Probably no one. I should do it now. Mm, I bet you there are people. There are yeah, sycophants right. everywhere. There are people who just want to hop on those coattails. It doesn't matter if they came right the fuck out of jail. Damn. Yeah, it's just the way it is. I need that stage time. Listen, can we get back to the porn talk? Because I want to dissect your sexuality and what's going on. Yeah, like porn. Okay, so. In fact, uh, the episode that came out today of this podcast the, oh, was the, with the episode uh, of porn. Lacey Lennon, the porn star. She was the oh, guest on the podcast. She probably was delightful. Really sweet. Porn stars are interesting, and they're very open. Yes. And they've had a somewhat tumultuous life. Oh, yeah. I would say 99% of them were raped or molested. Yeah. Unfortunately. And, you know, that's a large percentage for our people, too. Yeah. Been what do you think the percentage of comedians is? 80. That's high. I think so. I, what it do you think? Be. I don't know. I, I should start doing a poll. On, I'm going to start asking every guest. You should. Me? Yes. yes. Yeah. Not me. It's the first time I ever had sex. I was raped. Sorry. Yeah. I think it gave me like 10 minutes of material, so don't be sorry. It's going to go in my special. Thank you. At least you're not alone, right? I was that night for a while. (laughs) But not not anymore. (laughs) anymore. (laughs) It's all the hard shit that makes you you. It's all the, you know, without sounding like a Marshall's plaque, it's all the struggles that make life beautiful. Today's episode is brought to you by Liquid IV. Mmm. This is the passion fruit flavor and yum, 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 yum. It is yummy. I'm not just saying that. It's tasty. It's a lot better than regular water. It's only 45 calories per stick of powder. You mix the powder with the water. It is delicious. It gives you energy. It gives you a better workout. It gives you more of a workout. You're going to make up that 45 calories really quick. It makes me better at podcasting. I didn't take one today, and actually I'm going to right after I record this ad because now that I think about it, I'm feeling kind of sluggish. It's two to three times more hydration than water alone, three times the electrolytes, five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. I don't know what B3, B5, or B6 does. But vitamin C, I could use. B12, I could use. It tastes great. My favorite flavor is a watermelon. I like to take it just about any excuse I can. If I'm going to go hiking that day, if I'm going to work out, if I'm going to podcast, if I'm going to travel, I take this. It helps me get through the day. I really do recommend you guys try it. I think you are going to enjoy it. Definitely a lot better than energy drinks or coffee, stuff like that. It's better for you, and I think it affects. The way it makes me feel is better as well. Right now, you can get it in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code 
THERAPY at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using the promo code THERAPY at liquidiv.com. I mean it. I didn't think this stuff was going to be good, and then I tried it, and now I'm like, why did I not try this stuff three years ago? It has changed the way I feel. I'm not a little kid anymore. I don't wake up with puppy energy ready to run around all day. With this stuff, I am in a good way. I have lots of energy, and I get a lot more done. So check it out, liquidiv.com, and use the promo code THERAPY. Support them. Support the show. What kind of porn do you think I'm into? Would you guess, knowing that I was uh, raped and I look like this? Wow. Uh, <laughs> I would guess. I would guess just stand lesbian porn and bondage. Whoa. The far extremes. I think you're into wow. soft, soft tulip, two women going down on each other. Tulip? Uh, tulip. Tulips of passing just, in the night? Just soft petals, women. <laughs> <laughs> and and then but then I think sometimes when you're in a crazy mood you go bondage porn. That's funny. I've never really watched either of those and now oh. my interest is peaked. What do you watch then? Um I like I like uh like gangbang porn. I think that's fun. Oh, I watch those sometimes. Those are fun. Yeah. I I get distracted by those the rooms they're in. The rooms are always really messy and so it drives me nuts. <laughs> There's Always like I've a never. frame a jar in the background and I get distracted. Right. You're like, clean up. Yeah. Well, can't, there's 14 soccer players. No one could yeah. sweep. Not one of you is a clean freak. Yeah. No, not one of you can like straighten a chair or fluff a pillow. While you're waiting, who's ever last in line, right. go fix the room up a little bit. Dust a little. Yeah. Get, freshen up the coffee. <laughs> what are you guys I, doing in the room? Don't you want to get called back for the next <laughs> scene? You want to, if you clean, they're going to have you back every time. You know what's great porn? It's like tipping your weight staff <laughs> as a comedian. Tip the weight staff. Tip your fluffers. Yeah. Um, massage porn. Oh, I like massage porn. I yeah. love massage porn. And then I found this new porn. His name is Dr. Squirt. And he just makes every girl squirt. He makes every girl squirt. And I have to say, I've never seen his technique before. And I understand the mechanics of it because I have a vagina. And I think he, I mean, obviously he's Can nailed you squirt? it. I, I taught myself. Okay. It's just peeing, right? No. It's not just peeing. It's not. You okay. and you and um uh Neil Brennan seem to think it's urine. It is. No. I think it's the same if they if they took a sample of your squirt, if we cupped your squirt and then we you peed. New beverage out this stuff. fall by yeah. Liquid Death. <laughs> Jesse May's squirt. Is it pee? Is it vaginal juice? Who cares? Drink it and be happy. It's I don't pee. think it is. Okay. Well, well, let's put another poll. Is squirt... Comment below what you think. <laughs> is squirt, is squirt, squirt or pee? Squirt or pee? <laughs> or both. Wasn't there a beverage back in the day? Squirt? It's still there. I think you can still buy squirt. It's soda, <laughs> yeah. I just realized. <laughs> That's my new favorite soda now. That's all I'm going to drink uh, is squirt. I hope they have diet squirt, though, because I'm trying to watch my figure. You don't need to watch your figure. I have a dad bod. You do? Yeah. You got a belly? Shirt. Yeah, Let I got me a see. little punch belly. Let me see. That's not that bad. But it's there. I don't like it. Well, why don't you do something about it? I'm going to go hiking it right after this podcast. Hiking will just give you more of a dad bod. Why? You're just walking and everything's dropping. You're not d what? lifting No, anything. it's burning calories, burning fat. Yeah, but no, 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 no. You need to build muscle to burn fat. I'll walking do, doesn't okay, do anything. Okay, what if I do... I don't want it. Walking's for lazy people. I'm lazy, yeah. Okay. What if I do 10 pull-ups and then go hiking? No. You know what would be good for you? 50 push-ups and then hiking. Anal and yoga. I like... In that order. I like the first one. Well, you know, actually, if you did yoga first and then anal, you'd be relaxed. Oh, anal on me, you're saying? I'm not pegging you. I'm just saying in your life you could do anal. I've actually never had anal sex. I've had really? some failed attempts. Why do you think they failed? Uh, I think I'm a little big. Okay. What? That's why. I'm just. <laughs> you asked me why. That's why I think. You have a big penis? I have a big penis. How big would you say it is? Like compare it to a, a produce. A vegetable. Uh, is it like a? Yeah. Like a. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to I don't think. Know. Of a I don't know if a vegetable <laughs> compare a big a big a zucchini. Vegetable. Yeah. Really. It's good. Good for you. Yeah, it's not like, it's boyfriend dick. It's not like. Boyfriend you, dick. Yeah, boyfriend dick means it's coming it's, to NBC this fall. <laughs> Well, you know what boyfriend deck is. It's where it's above average, but it's not like, oh, my God, you're going to break me. Because <laughs> you don't want that either. You don't. And yeah. I will say that having a large member does make anal very difficult. Yes. And, well, also, 
so, you know, I watch a lot of pornography, as mm -hmm. I already mentioned. And there, it's kind of like watching stand-up. It looks easy. Oh, look, that, that person just up there being funny. Look at how I could do that. I make my friends laugh. But it's not that. It's crafted material. There's art to it. And same thing with when you watch anal porn. You're not watching that the girl... 48 hours before that shoot. Popped didn't a eat, fucking Vicodin. Yeah. Popped a Vicodin. <laughs> didn't eat. Flushed her butthole out Did with an enema. Enemas. Yeah. All this prep. and Put analies and, around her asshole. Yeah. Tons of lube that you didn't see squirt. They like squirt a bottle of lube up there. Then they put and like a whipped cream in there. <laughs> whipped cream to they make it taste cream. good. Yep. In, and in real life, it's usually, you know, you're typically not with your girlfriend. Hey, you want to do anal in 24 hours from now? Which it should be. It should be. It should be. There should be prep. But that's not usually how it goes. Normally, you're in the bedroom, you're having sex. And it slips and, in and you cry. Or it slips in or you go, hey, is it cool if I do this? And she's like, yeah, because she's in the moment. And then she's like, ah, ah. Well, girls can't ever, you can't ever do that on your hands and knees. You got to be on your side as a woman. You got to be on yeah. your side. The best thing, I actually talked about this on my podcast, uh -huh. the rules of anal. The best thing for a woman, for me. I can't say that I'm speaking for all women, but you lay on your side. You have an orgasm first, so you're relaxed down there. Lay on your side, all the lube that the Lord will give you, and you've got to, like, just ease it. you got to go. Yeah. You literally have to go so slow that it feels like you're doing nothing. And then when you're doing that, you're almost like, well, why are we even doing this? Right, because it feels – well, because our, our idea of sex – and no offense to you, a lot of us get it from porn. Yeah. And it's like... And that's not real. Yeah. Well, it's not real. It's not that it's not real. It's, it's real. But it's not what people want. It's not there's what a, a woman wants it, There's a the time. spectrum of sex. Yeah. And, and I think we're so focused on popping off and having orgasms that we forget to be in the moment and actually enjoy the act of sex mm -hmm. and the connection that you can have with somebody that it just turns into this like, that's not fun. And the slower you go for a woman, the better it is. It, we literally are like cars. Or they want it mixed up, even if they want. Yes. They want that for 20 seconds, and they want you to switch it up. Yes. They don't want this, this, this for 20 minutes straight. Right. No one wants that. You should check out Dr. Squirt. Dr. Squirt. I think Dr. Squirt would help you with anal. You're welcome. Could. Coming from Dr. Peluso. But I'm also, I'm. it's not like I'm craving anal. It's not like I wake up and go, man, I wish I just had a girl that would let me do anal tonight. Like, Well, if you ever find a girl who you really love who craves anal... That I'd be cool with it. Yeah. But I'm not. But luckily, I'm not craving it. Have you ever had poop on your dick? Can we start the podcast here? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Knock on wood. I love that we've been talking about we talked, sex yeah, we got, for it, 25 we got, minutes. We got sexual today. It was my fault. Today. I initiated it. I don't know whose fault it was, but it I it go happened. into the direction that I'm pulled, and I'm, I was pulled into your anal. Yeah. We're deviants. Cavity. We're a, we are a <laughs> deviant comedians. Not weed comedian. Not deviant weed comedian. comedian. De deviant. Bold. Bold. I prefer bold. Edgy? Edgy gives me a real 90s vibe, and I feel like I'm going to be on like... I think people would call me an edgy comedian. You're definitely edgy. What? I, I wouldn't call you edgy. I would call you brazen. <laughs> yeah. You are. <laughs> yeah. You're a brazen... It, you almost have this Rain Man, like, def <laughs> dismount. <laughs> How are you going to make this polite? <laughs> <laughs> how are you gonna twist ah! this? How are you gonna twist this into not you being an asshole? You should change the title of your podcast. To how are you gonna make this polite? <laughs> your your dismount is very Rain Manny. I don't know what that means. Thank you, you know so what much. It means. Thank you so very much. Very spectrum me. Like I think you could just say anything because it doesn't. Uh, it comes from a pure place. It comes from a very pure, almost. Like, I don't get any deviance from you. It's just I think, straightforward. I, I think people who, who watch me, at least I hope, and I think for the most part, know that I don't have any ill will. Yeah, you don't that's, have any ill that's will. That's what it comes from. I think it's all about intent. You could you could say offensive things as long as you don't want to hurt someone with those offensive You're things. You're direct. And anyone that I've met that's either been on the spectrum, Asperger's, autistic, or any sort of, you know, in there— it's a very direct way of speaking. Oh, you actually think that I'm autistic? Oh, I know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Undiagnosed. Ah! Diagnosed today by yeah, Dr. Dr. Peluso. Peluso. Thank yeah. you, everybody. This is my formal doctor wear. <laughs> I guess I could be. 
I don't or know. you're just a unique individual. I'm definitely weird. I, yeah, I think weird I'm is... All, I'm so, I have social anxiety. Who doesn't? Quite a bit. No, but I do more. Like, I never like going to parties. I hate parties. I don't like bars. I don't like... What about comedy clubs? Only if I'm performing. You don't like to go to hang out? I do because sometimes I feel guilty like I'm supposed to, but I don't enjoy it. What about it gives you uncomfortable feeling? Uh, just kind of having to fit in. Mm. You know what I mean? I've never felt like I fit in. So when you go to a place to hang out, you have to be in a circle and be normal and be accepted by everyone. And that makes me uncomfortable. Are you an only child? No, I have two younger brothers. Wow. Mm -hmm. But I'm just, yeah, so, social anxiety is the best way to describe it for me. I just. Are you close with them? Yeah. Small, like I could do a small hang with friends, you know. I'm like not, Chris I'm not McClure. anti-social. Yeah, I could go to Chris's house, and if you're there, it's all good. But as soon as there's add a couple strangers to the mix, right, or make it a little fifteen people, so it's kind of a party. I'm uncomfortable. I can, I experience that sometimes. I mean, it's just a matter of like feeling like you want to belong and not knowing how. Mm -hmm. And then I, I'm really bad at being fake. Me too. And I say things that are highly inappropriate <laughs> <laughs> only because I just I can't be anything other than what I am mm -hmm. and I, I do the same thing where I, sometimes I just opt to stay away from or I'll sit there quietly and then people think I'm an asshole that's a better option you should do that I do but then people are like oh, he's not very friendly but I'm like no I'm just shy and awkward I think people are starting to learn that there's also a spectrum of the way people communicate and maybe they're taking back some of their judgments of how people are in public settings, especially after this last fucking year. All bets are off. It's literally like we're starting somewhat new when it comes to shit. You mm -hmm. know, like if I don't want to do something, I'm not going to fucking do it. And I'm not going to apologize for not doing it. I'm just not going to fucking do it. You know how I know things are different? Because when I walk out of my car or into place, I literally by habit now check for my mask. Wow. And now we don't have to wear it, but I still, like, by habit, like, reach in my pocket for a mask. And I hate masks. But that's how I know, oh, wow, this has been a weird chapter of my life. Now I have to break the habit of reaching for my mask. I have to break the habit of it, too. Oh, you do it, too? Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. It is weird. And it's disgusting since they don't do anything in there for fools. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't, right? No. <laughs> I went into Trader Joe's yesterday. They, we don't have to wear masks anymore in California. Like, I Humble can walk brag. around without a mask. What's up, Florida? Hey, Texas. Do they, you, no, they don't wear them they there They haven't either. worn a mask. They, they don't, yeah, they they don't never even wear, wear them in their fucking hospitals. They catch babies in, in, in oiled gloves. But I went into Trader Joe's. People are still wearing them. Normal people are walking around with masks on. I'm like, what's, what's I, the deal here? It's, what's what are we the in deal? China? I don't know what it is. People are still afraid. I think the people who are still wearing masks are super afraid. And now's the time to take out the weak people. <laughs> we should create another place for them. Another grocery store. Like um, a Hunger Games. Yes. Where one by one their masks get ripped off of them. Mm -hmm. And, we, and we, we blast amoebas into the air. And they can see the amoebas. The amoebas have color. And so they have to survive without their mask. And then we get to watch it all. I'd watch that. And then one dies a week. That'd be a I good think that's fair. That'd be a good game show. <laughs> I think that's fair. Have you pitched this? I, I just did. And I, I think I think an email will come through. I think we, I think we send, might have a Send show. this to your team. <laughs> Let's make the deck. Send this to your team. Yeah. That's another thing that's changed, too. I think a lot of people, creatives, have figured out. I mean, like you, this is so impressive. I told you when I walked in. Thank you. I mean, even though you have a crew of 10 people behind us here, <laughs> uh, what you've done Thank you. I think a lot of people in quarantine have figured out, oh, I can do some shit. I think two things happened. People either went deeper into not doing anything and then deeper into actually doing stuff and realizing they can achieve shit on their own. You know, if I'm being honest, I've always been making shit on my own. And it's not because I want to. Because <laughs> I, I have to. No one's giving me opportunities. No one's doing shit for me. I'm not... I've never been an industry darling. I've never been liked, really. So if I want to make content, if I want to do a podcast, if I want to do stand-up, if I want to make a sketch, no one's going to do it for me. i got to do it myself. So yeah. I had to learn this stuff or else I would be 
at home wishing I was a comedian. Well, that's why your shit is good because you're doing it yourself. Yeah. And you don't have a bunch of people who've never done what you do telling you how to do what you do and fucking it up. Correct. So there, there's happens. advantages to it, but it's there's just also exhausting. it's exhausting. There's I lose money doing it. You get stressed. It's stressful. You always feel like you're not doing enough because I have the power to do it yep. as much as I want. Whereas well, some people are away. like, yeah, but some people they're like, I wish I could do it, but I can't because no one's a lot. You know, I'd say the average comedian goes, oh, I would, I wish I could do a show tonight. But I can't because no one booked me. Oh, yeah. I would love to make a sketch like Ari does, but I don't know how to do that. Right. They make excuses. They're lazy. I don't have any excuses. Yeah. So for that, I always feel guilty. Uh, you're way ahead of 90% of the people who are in this industry because of what you just said. And I know you probably have noise in your head that's telling you you need to do more. Uh -huh. That's a creative in you. Yeah, That's yeah. a part of it. I think every creative has that fucking loud-ass noise that's just telling you you're not good enough you're not doing it enough yeah yeah everyone has it everyone has it you just gotta unless shut you that have a day job up. with a boss you have it yeah yeah no it's true every time that motherfucker you, you talks have it you shut him up yeah she's a bitch every time she tries to talk i'm like bitch what you don't pay rent why are you so loud <laughs> why are you driving the ship i just tell her to shut the fuck up i literally go shut the fuck up that's smart I'm going to do that, too. I, You're fine. I learned it from this book, Untethered Soul. Have you ever read that? The n title sounds very familiar, but no, I haven't read it. Good book. It's good? Ooh. Ooh, it's deep. It's deep for all, for all you out there who are into personal evolution. So you, from my perspective, are killing it. You're in space. <laughs> you drive around in space. <laughs> you smoke all the weed you want. <laughs> You're a smoking hot babe. <laughs> You drive a Range Thank Rover? You. No, a Honda Civic, according to you. <laughs> Honda Pilot, actually. You drive, you drive, well, let's just stick with Honda Pilot. You know what it is? On, okay, this is actually, now I'm, I'm being honest. Wait, you have you have a dog. You have three dogs. I so have you three need dogs. seat covers. But I do need seat, seat covers. The seat covers take away the range. Exactly. Like when you open up your car, you don't see that luxury, that luxurious Range Rover. No. You see a Honda Pilot. Yep. Because they're shitty car covers. They're not shitty, but you know. No, I mean. yeah, they're from yeah. Amazon. They're totally yeah. shitty. They yeah, were yeah. knitted by small Cantonese fingers. Oh no, they were made by machines, and Cantonese fingers just put it in the plastic wrap. Oh yeah, the Cantonese fingers stuffed it in the plastic yeah. wrap. You're right. You're right. Very, very astute. So, you're killing it. <laughs> uh, is there anything in your life that I could help you with? Uh, both my parents are dead. Uh, I can't fix that. Well, you could learn how to be a medium. If you can do all this, I'm sure you could study. <laughs> and if you can put up this, I'm sure you can connect to That's the other real. side. That's not real. How do you know? I what know. makes this real? What makes you or I real? We're just a combination of thoughts There's and no things that are inherited. You know what a medium is? What? It's a scammer who's taking your money and making you feel like they're a medium. Really? Yeah. Mm. I don't sorry. know. I've had some things said a couple times. They're, where a, they're I've a good been scammer. Like, Actually, I will say there's They're been a couple scammer. times where I've been extremely vulnerable, and I've said this, that vulnerable women get scammed the most because we're so open. Yeah. And it was shortly after my dad had passed away, and I had this necklace that I got made in Beirut, and it said my father's name in Lebanese because I just happened to be in Lebanon when I got it, and it was Youssef. World Traveler. World Traveler. Thank you very much. Culture. Written. <laughs> <laughs> and it was written in, you know, the native script and so I had it on and I'm at the beach and I'm standing looking at the ocean crying and this guy pulls up in a white van never a good sign <laughs> even if the van has like a contractor decal on it it's still shady as fuck I actually own a white van of course you do yeah look at your face that's rude you're the creepy Adam Sandler whoa also that's you've said a lot of mean things excuse to me, me you're today. opening for Cosby I don't want to hear it I wish I was opening for You Cosby. are. The, I guarantee you, you're going to open for Cosby. I'm a medium. I Would know this. Would you still be my friend? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, good. I want you to split your time with me. <laughs> okay. So I'm standing on the ocean with this necklace that says Yousef. And this guy comes up to me and, and he I, I now I know he could see I was, you know, upset. And um, he goes, beautiful day, huh? And I was like, yeah, it is. It really is. And he said something else about the weather, and I just kind of turned to him, towards him. And then he's like, um, I'm sorry, who's, who's Joseph? And I said, what? I forgot I had the necklace on. Yeah. He goes, uh, he's coming to me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I forgot I had the necklace on, guys. I started bawling. 
my eyes out because I was like, oh my God, this fucking. You're already emotional. Your, your dad just died. <laughs> my dad just died. Yeah. I am a wide open. Oh, like my bright goodness. red this blinking is evil. prey. This it's, is evil. Well, this is what happens in the world. And yeah. this is how women get abducted. This is how women get murdered. This is how women just don't, when they don't keep their eyes open. Let's change it from women to people. Well, Equal 90% rights. of the world's homicide is caused by men, and a majority of those victims are women. Mm, so statistically... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to adhere to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can Google female <laughs> killers and murderers. There's like six, and four of them are, are But shitty. that's because they're they're weak and frail. Sorry, continue. Yeah, because they were from the 1800s, and they lived to be 25 and died of typhoid. <laughs> <laughs> So this guy, so this guy's like, Joseph, Joseph is coming to me. Who's Joseph? He's coming to me. And you're like, that's my dad. I'm like, oh my God. How do you know my dad? Oh, I feel so bad for you. You should. But the yeah. good thing is that he didn't fucking put me in his van. It just was, you know, that was one of many things that have sort of. But what, what, what happened? So he you're like, that's my, my dad. He read my necklace. Yeah. So he's like, oh, I see. Your no, I, I no. just, I walked away from him because I was like. Uh, it hit me so hard. Oh, you had to, you were like, I can't. Yeah. I thought he had connected with my father and I thought it for, for months. But I'm surprised that didn't make you go, tell me more to him. Well, uh, cause I think I, because I've been attacked in the past that somewhere my subconscious told me to walk away. Got it. So you walk away, you walk away, you think about it. So when did you, when did you, at what point did you realize? Oh, I was sitting in my car and I just was touching my necklace and I was just, you know, realizing what it said and, and, and I was thinking about my dad and then I was like, this motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker's not psychic. He's a good, he's got a 2020 vision. He's a good scammer. He's a good scammer. Just like every other medium. I don't know. Well, here's the thing. Okay. I, I'll let you have your opinion. Okay. Fact. Okay. What happens to us after we die? What happens? Not, not, not biologically. It's sad. I could tell you if you want to know, but it's not. It's not I want to know you what happy. you think. It's what I know. Well, here's the thing about that. that. Now that's a little tricky. No one who's experienced death can report it back. I can. Okay. Okay. Here's what happens. Can I have a sip first? Yeah. I want full attention. I want to give you my full attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good sip. It's liquid death, and you're about to tell me what happens yeah. after we die. Let me have my sip. Oh, good point. Is that how you normally flip uh, things? No, but it's your sponsor. I want to make sure okay. they get a good clip. Good okay. plug. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. That's it. Okay. You're not no longer part of the world. No, You're gone. No, no string. No soul string. You don't go to another dimension. Your soul doesn't reincarnate. You're dead. Okay. That's it. Where does consciousness come from? There's no no consciousness. So how are you thinking right now? Because you have a brain and from experiences that you've had. How do you have self-awareness? Human nature. How come we're the only creature that has self-awareness? Or not elephants oh, I mean, have it. And monkeys. How monkeys. come there's only a few creatures that have it? Because most animals are really stupid. Stupid based off of your experience and what stupid you know based to off be smart. Their brain power is less. But are ants stupid? Yeah. Well, look what they build and how fast they build it. That's not very impressive. The computer algorithm was built off of it. If they were smart, they'd live longer. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe they're smart because they're living shorter and they realize if they lived longer, they would die and and nothing matters at all anyway. So they're like, why don't we live (laughs) shorter and not prolong this imminent nothingness? Maybe. Maybe. You know, all of... I knew this was going to upset you. Uh, fact, I know I'm not upset. I'm truth. intrigued. I, yeah. I love this. I, told, I opened your mind just now. You saw the interior of my car. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you said, well, who's that black guy who studies space? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Neil. I would like to see Neil and Bill Cosby start a podcast together. I would like to see Neil Ooh, interrogate Bill Cosby. Do you think Cosby Bill is going to start a podcast? He should. I think he should interview every woman. You think they would agree to that? Ones some that would. Some of them would. Yeah, some of them would. I would like to see. Oh, God, that would be that a good would be, reparation. Oh, that would be crazy. Like, like That'd be if, popular. It would be. And what if the judge said, okay. I think him and, and um, who are they going to say? Him and OJ Simpson should start a podcast together. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what are they going to call it? Didn't do it. And the yeah. song, the theme song is Shaggy's It Wasn't Me. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I don't know if I should say this. What? It probably so, not. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Do if you you're saying I don't know if I should say this, I'm gonna tell I'm just gonna go on record and say hundred percent you shouldn't, but you're go right. ahead. Go ahead. Okay, do you follow OJ Simpson on Twitter? I, I think I might have. I don't know if I do anymore. If you don't, it's incredible. He's out of his mind, mm-hmm. just tweeting videos of himself. One, I was intrigued initially. One time I DM'd him <laughs> on Twitter. He didn't respond or see it, which I knew he wouldn't, but I, I took a leap of, you know, went for it. And I sent him a picture of the studio and I was like, hey, man, you should definitely start a podcast. I could help you because I just thought it'd be absolutely bonkers if OJ Simpson started a podcast. OJ, if you're out there, Ari's got the space. (laughs) He's got the space and the time. I got this. I'll make the time for OJ Simpson (laughs) for the juice. (laughs) That's what it could be called. (laughs) Yeah. The juice. The juice. It could be it, it could be called the juice. But it's like I know that if that happened. I, I can't. I know if it came down to it, I wouldn't do it, actually, because it's just it'd be throwing. Not that I have a career, but it'd be throwing my life away because there's so many people. I would just be like, I'm not fucking with Ari. He does a podcast with OJ Simpson. Yeah. But Same he, thing. And I think even opening up for Cosby, I don't think I would actually do it. I mean, even I though would. I think I want I totally I'd want would. to. No, I'm just I think I would. <laughs> it'd be so fun. You would do a giant theater show opening up for a legend. He's but, definitely going to go back out on the road. Yeah. Oh, he was doing it even during all the trials and stuff. He was on the road. So he's going to. But I think when I actually break down, I wouldn't do it because I do care what people think. And I would be shunned by the well, comedy I'll, community. I guess I'll, I'll just forward me the email. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you actually could do it. I could. I'm a woman. Yeah, you're a woman. I've been raped. Yes. And I got something to say. You could do it. I couldn't pull it off. So it, Cosby's people. Some people say that I look like Jeff Goldblum. No. No, no one said it. But when he was good looking. He's still good looking. That's the thing about men. You guys get old and become distinguished. We get old and become witches. It's just the way the world works. What about Demi Moore? She's a witch. She's good looking. Well, she, Or at least I actually haven't seen her in a while. I think she might have pulled a string too tight on her face recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That happens. Better than too loose? <laughs> Better too tight than too loose? Well, that's up for debate. You think? A hundred percent. Yeah. Who do you think is, what is the limit of hot? Like, when can a girl no longer be hot? At what age? I think when she's dead. Old people are always fucking. So you're always going to no, be no, hot to somebody. No, no, not fucking. But, like, you said men age better, according to you. Well, according to society. According to society. So yeah. men, like, what age does a man stop being hot? Probably, I would say there's no hot 70-year-old men. Is there a 70-year-old man that you would have sex with right now? There's probably like 100 of them in the marina on their boat. Yeah, especially if they're on their way out. If they have a weak hip. Well, no. Or medication. I'm talking just for their looks. Or a slippery Physicality stairwell. Physicality alone. Not for their butt. Not so you can inherit their boat. If there's a fucking slippery, slippery stairwell, yeah, they're all hot. Um, Robert Redford, Paul Newman, Denzel Washington. Oh, I forgot about Denzel. Um, Sean Connery, uh, RIP. Oh, you're right. Um, all of them. All yeah. of them. Even Tommy Lee Jones, whose face looks like an aerial shot of okay, the desert. Okay, so now let's go to the women's side. I can't think of any Sophia old women Sophia Loren, Helen Mirren, um, even Oprah's beautiful. I mean, she has mm. no, no wrinkles on her face, and she's gorgeous. I wouldn't hook up with Oprah. Uh, well, that's your own I personal opinion. I would because she's Oprah, but if she was a normal lady at Starbucks? Well, that's no. because you shouldn't be picking people up at Starbucks. Why not? You should be picking them up at, like... You know, fancier brunch spots where Oprah might hang out. I'm not a what money if you grabber. Have ke- what you might have chemistry with Oprah. Why are you why are you denying? What if Oprah likes two a.m. sex? I don't. Not with Oprah. You don't know that. Have you ever had it? Uh, listen, I'm very shallow, In and the Oprah shallow, don't do it for me. Shallow. <laughs> <laughs> she's had too much plastic surgery. Oprah. Yeah, she's had liposuction seventeen times. Where do you see it? All over her body. There's liposuction scars. Right? Isn't that how life will work? Excuse me? Angela Bassett is fucking gorgeous. I don't know, I don't know how is. old she is, but she's gorgeous. I, it's a hot name. Beautiful name, Angela yeah, Bassett. Yeah, and she's, she's gorgeous. Tina Turner? My first still tennis hot. coach, his last name was Bassett. I can pretend like they're related. You could. Damn what about it. Dolly Parton? Not hot anymore. Mm. I bet you she got around you and you got a little bit of that Dolly Parton aura. You, a little chub chub. I think chub. I have higher standards than you. 
Wow. Wow. Shots yeah. are fired. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying I'd bone Dolly Parton. I just appreciate the fact that they're older women. She's an amazing, her and Oprah are both amazing, incredible, powerful women who I'd respect and I'd admire. Okay. Who's your older but hot lady? I'm not going to sleep with them. Kira Knightley. She, she's like five still. Or no, wait. No. Who's We're the one who dated like Matt Wright? Older. And, and Pete Davidson? Kate Beckinsale? Kate Beckinsale. She's like 40-something. Oh, yeah. oh, she's hot. Th that's older to you? See the difference? Uh, this is yeah. the fucking difference. Kate you're like Beckinsale's older You're like uh, older men, and I'm naming like 70-year-olds. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who is the Bond girl? Uh, like Halle, Halle Berry. Berry. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a little bit closer, but she's still young. Oh, Halle Berry. Alicia Sh Keys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Break me off some of them keys. Stop. You got to stop, because these are not old women. See, this is you're proving my point. Yeah, yeah. But Alicia Keys, have you seen her? Oh, she's gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, he, I just thought of a hot older guy. Who? I, I don't know if this. I don't tell trust me if it. these things older. He's probably fit, 22. Lenny Kravitz. What do you think? His daughters are beautiful too. Zoe Kravitz, I think, is the most. I, I've never dated a woman. I would date Zoe Kravitz. I think she's gay too. Didn't she post a pride thing? Yeah, she. I think she's. I don't. I think bi? she's bi. Perfect. We both have. Lenny's a chance. hot. Lenny's so hot. He has a six pack. Yeah, still. He's ripped. He must go hiking all the time. No, there's no hiking. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hiking. That's why you have, you're skinny fat. So what should I do? You need to you need to build Lift muscle. Lift weights. Yeah, uh, I don't want to. But muscle burns fat. Not not cardio. I believe without... you. You're in great shape. But it's not what I want to hear. Is all I'm saying. Well, you know, you built this. You can build that. I could. Yeah, I, this I is was, just. I was in shape. I've been, I've had chapters in my life where I've been in really good shape. I could see you, and you don't even need to do that much. Just a, a little bit of shoulder situation. Move what's there up to your shoulders. <sighs> you I'm want so... it. You obviously want it. You're the one I bringing do. it up. Oh, I didn't say shit. If I had a six pack, I would then get a sleeve of tattoos. <laughs> and then. <laughs> a sleeve of tattoos? Yeah, I'd like cover my left mints? arm in tattoos. But you, you don't want to be a dad bod with a sleeve. I want to be ripped, sleeved. But you should do a sleeve of crackers or thin mints and all then on your arm. Zoe Kravitz. Nope. You don't think? Nope. Why? Because I'll be dating her by then. Uh, well, it, you'll I'll be get, invited I'll take to our wedding. I'll take seconds. You won't get seconds. I'll take thirds. Dude, Whatever. There's not even, even going to be a fourth or Oh, fifth. you think she's going to be with you till the end, end of time? Zone. End zone. You're going to get bored of each other? Well, maybe. Lesbians get bored of each other. Oh, oh, I am triggered. Did you guys hear that? No, there's this, a... This breaking news. I think after <laughs> like... Okay. First off, everyone gets bored of each other. But I think lesbians stop having sex after... Uh, Two weeks. A short amount of time. They stop having sex and they get cats and they open a cupcake shop. Yeah. That's think a that's trajectory. A known thing. That's and a if fact. you want to call me a homophobe for saying that, then so be it. <laughs> Everyone knows lesbians stop scissoring after two weeks. It's fact. It's that's a fact. A known thing. It's a known thing. We all know it. So two weeks, you and Zoe, I could stop. And then you in come and... in with your abs, with your non hiked developed abs. Mm hmm. I mean, hiking's good for your mind. What about crunches? Yeah, again, it kind of useless. Do it? It's so just weights. Not just; it's an accumulation of stuff. But weights is priority number one. Weights is really good because it opens. Obviously, diet. Diet is number one. Diet's number one because that's you know, it's mm. all lifestyle. But the difference with weightlifting, comparative to everything else, when it comes to fitness, is weight weightlifting increases your neuroplasticity. It opens up new pathways in your brain. It's one of the only things aspects of working out that does that. I'll tell you something I just got that's pretty cool. AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> no. AIDS. AIDS. HIV. Oh. No. Uh, no. I listen to this podcast. It's called Freakonomics. I'm not sure if you've heard yes. of it. Yes. Great podcast. Mm -hmm. Not comedy, so it's not my competitor. We could talk about it. They did this episode about a workout pill because... Basically, all the people who study diet and exercise and obesity in the world, because mm -hmm. it's a growing thing. More and more people are obese. And everyone knows you're Someone supposed to exercise. Someone just got shot in your hallway. Yeah. <laughs> that was the door slamming me. Yeah, so. Sound like a shot. <laughs> everyone, all people know I'm supposed to eat healthy and exercise. Yep. We all know that. But the facts are the problem is worsening, not getting better. Right. Did I say that? Is worsening a word? The yeah, problem is getting worse. Is a word. Not getting better. People are exercising less and eating eating more. Even though everyone knows that's not how you're supposed to live. Right. So rather than awareness of exercising more, scientists know that in order to fix this problem, this health problem, they're going to need to basically come up with a pill that simulates exercise. Oh, my God. So they have this pill 
that was originally, I think, developed for cholesterol, but they basically found they're testing it on mice that it stimulates exercise in their body. So after these mice have been taking this pill for 30 days, their stamina increases a lot. So they they have way more stamina and endurance and they, they have neuro plasticity. plasticity from this pill. So I heard this and I'm like, ding, ding, ding. That's what I need. No. That's what I got. That's... So I went on the dark web. No, you didn't. I ordered 270 no, of these didn't. pills. No, you didn't. Ari! A lower dose than the mice are taking because the mice developed tumors, but they were taking high doses. And I'm, the... an, and I'm not a mouse. Exactly. I'm a human being. But you... So I got some and I'm on week two now. No, you're not. And I've been <laughs> taking this pill every day. Just 10 no, milligrams. You're not. 10 milligrams, not that much. A are low you dose. fucking with me? And I'm, we'll see. I'd rather you open for Cosby <laughs> and enjoy it and promote oh, it. Is, what if I got a six pack from this pill? No, you're fucking with me, no, right? Not, I'm not. What's the it? pill called? What's the, what's the, it's, the chemistry? It's a bunch of letters and numbers. I don't, I don't know the name. Oh my heart. God. Ari, you're a fucking mess. That's cool. No I'm way. testing it out. No. No. The Human trials. Gotta the start mice somewhere. got tumors. Yeah, but they were taking really high doses and they're mice. Mice get tumors all the time. Okay, doctor. Sometimes mice just Manus. get tumors. Do they? Yeah. Oh, sometimes people do too. Yeah, but mice get them more. Sometimes you have a you get an old mice. Because they're being thing. tested on on shit that they're putting <laughs> inside people. <laughs> they would give them like their body weight in this. So stuff. you're just I'm hiking taking... and taking a workout pill? Yeah. Fungal. What's fungal? <laughs> <laughs> What's fungal? What? What did you just call Please. me? I've never been called that before. <laughs> Please make a clue. <laughs> What is that? No one's ever called me Fongul before. It sounds like a a Chinese emperor. It sounds like a character from Mulan. It sounds like a samurai. It sounds Asian. That's all I know. It's Italian. Italian? It's an it sounds Ital like Mongol. It's an Italian phrase. <laughs> Meaning. <laughs> What's it mean? I can't. <laughs> What's it mean, you fungal? <laughs> You're saying it wrong. Quit being a fungal. Tell me what it means. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you have to tell me what fungal no, is. You're never gonna know. Oh, I'm googling They're it. They're never gonna, gonna know. You I would love to, to see you try and Google what you think I said. What time is your out again? Uh, ideally, I, if I'm in my car by three thirty, that would be wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you for coming on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> What time is it? 3.34. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for being a guest. How did that happen so fast? We're having fun. You were a great, uh, probably the biggest fungal I've ever had. <laughs> but a good, good guest. You have to make that a clip. <laughs> and you have to tag all the Italians you know. What is it? You'll Tell never me. know. You'll have to find out on your own. I'll you call, found the pill. I'll call Lenochi, I guess. He's Italian, I think. Call Lenochi. Does he know? Will he know what I'm saying? Well, Lenochi knows a lot of things, apparently. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your podcast called? For those Sharp out Tongue there? Podcast. Sharp Tongue. Check it out. Oh, I also have a show coming out on Netflix. Ooh, I've I didn't know that. I've been forgetting to Exciting. promote. Exciting. What's, what's it called? It's called Tattoo Redo. It's out on Netflix July 28th. You're the host of it? or what I is am. it? Mm -hmm. And is it a tattoo game show? What is it? It's a tattoo show. So... Explain it to me. Pitch uh, it to me real I quick. Can't, I can't say too much because oh, not, the official release hasn't a, come out. Apologies. But it's, there are um, ads and stuff that are out now. If only I had a six-pack, I could have been on and gotten my sleeve. You can see that. You can actually Ugh. see the premiere trailer, though. So I guess I could say that it's people who are coming in with really bad tattoos. Gotcha. And we have amazing laser. tattoo artists. Yeah, do we, they laser we, over or do they tattoo we over? We actually cut the both? skin off and we donate it to whales. Like the Jews. Mm -hmm. In World War Two. Yep, it's a very famous um, charity. It's on Netflix. Congratulations! July twenty eighth. Uh, yes, it's Sharp Tongue Podcast. Check it out. God bless you guys. Thanks for doing it. See you next Thank week. Thank you. Bye -bye. You're gonna see me next week? No, them. Oh. I mean, I'd like to see you next week, but mm, probably not. No thanks. Yeah. No. I don't know if we should do this again. Fungal. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to you listening to unlicensed 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 therapy with Ari Manis. Ari Manis.
go. Another episode of Unlicensed Therapy. Next week, we have Jeremy Piven. For those of you who made it to the end, you get a no. We got a celebrity in next week. Guys, if you want to support the show, I hope you do. Here are the different ways you can do it. You could buy a shirt on my site. You can buy my kid's book. You could support our sponsors from the episode, for such as Liquid IV for this week. You can, of course... Join the YouTube channel, the premium paid YouTube channel. And if you don't want to spend any money, because I understand you guys already spend money on other things in your life, you don't need another bill. I get that. There's ways you can help out. That doesn't cost you anything. You can just like this video. You can leave a review on Apple Podcasts if you're more of an audio listener. You can subscribe to all my things and follow me on social media, as well as my guests, and let them know where you discovered them at, you can think of some other things to do. I don't know. You could send me a nice message. Who cares? But either way, I appreciate you listening to this, and I will see you guys next week. God bless you.